in this tutorial we're going to look at uh, well, we're going to look at a few different things over the course of a few tutorials but basically we're going to be looking at creating a setup such as this where we've actually um, what we've done he's created a control f set for the facial animation so we're using these sliders to control either morph shapes or in the case of this an actual jaw bomb to open and close the mouth and move it from side to side uh, all of the others, apart from the eyelids as well, which I've also done as a bone structure. There you go. Uh, but everything else in that is has been done with more shapes. So what we're going to do first is look at creating the jawbone for this. So I'm just going to go in and we've actually got a jawbone set up on this already. But what I'm going to do is just go in and delete all of this, hide a few things off, and we'll just look at the jawbone itself. I'm just going to go into the mesh and um, for now I'm just going to delete the morpher and we've got an unwrap on there uh, we've got a skin which I'm going to leave for now but what I will do uh, is make sure that I take the bone out if it doesn't automatically come out when I delete the jaw bone itself so I'm just going to go into my layers panel and in here I'm just going to switch off the geometry for a second uh, just so I can better see the bones and uh, we'll also look at the face features and delete those as well, hide those as well for now. So here we have the jaw bomb, which right now is actually controlled by the facial animation rig. Um, so I want to actually be able to actually rotate this around apart from on the axis it's not locked in. Um, so what I'm going to do is actually delete this. Um, let's see if I can just hide the. Oh, it's part of the face controls. I will actually hide the face controls there. Um, so, what we need to do is look at creating a jawbone here and attaching it to the head bone. So, I'm going to leave the head bone and the neck bone intact on this. And let's go ahead and do this. So, first of all, I need to hide, unhide the main geometry, which I've just done from my layers panel. I'm going to click on this and what I'm going to do is Alt X to turn it into transparency mode and I'm also going to freeze this as well. Freeze this a different way, for some reason my computer is acting up. So let's just freeze that. Okay, so I'm going to switch this across now to a side viewport and then go across to bones systems tools I'm going to create a bone which if you think about where your jaw bone comes it's roughly underneath the ear and then down towards the bottom area of the chin so I'm going to start around here bring out this bone and just right click to end so that's pretty much in the right uh, position there remember if you want to move this we can go into animation and go into our bone tools click on bone edit mode and then if we need to we can move this around as well uh, if we don't get in the right place when we first select it I'm just going to move that if you do that one of the things you should really do is actually the um, nub bone now is not aligned properly to this bone it's actually offset if we've rotated this around see the position of this or rotation of this doesn't actually change So, having said that, um, let's go ahead and do that. So I'm just going to click on the end bone and delete. Uh, click on the bone itself and then I'm just going to click on create end. And that just creates one that's actually aligned to this surface now. Or the orientation of the bone above it. One of the things I sometimes suggest you do as well, let's just go into this again, is if you have resized any bones, um, just go down to the bottom and what I'll do with this bone is just click on reset stretch and reset scale and that just brings everything back into alignment so I'm not going to directly link this bone into the head bone what I'm going to do is put a nub bone between this um, just to keep the orientation of this set at zero so 
let's just go into this I'm going to go into my helpers and create a point helper and what I'll do is I'll actually align this to the bone and uh, let's just align the orientation as well okay so then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to link this to the nub I'm going to link the nub to the head bone so if we rot rotate the head bone which is actually probably aligned to a controller face controls let's zoom out of this a second so they're the head bone and the jaw actually move together and then the jaw individually can be rotated down okay um, so what we'll look at next is the actual skin of the jaw bone using uh, the skin modifier so I've already actually got a skin modifier applied to this let's just go in and uh, see if my right clicks working no nope. uh, let's go into my panel here and just unfreeze all and then let's bring this back so on our mesh and so I've already got a skin modifier applied to this uh, got the different bones in there. Actually, right, so what I'm going to do first is just good practice. I'm just going to go in and name these bones and the various things. So this is going to be bone underscore jaw. I'm going to go into the nub bone. I'm going to call this. Um, point jaw I tend to give things the prefix of CTRL control when I'm actually uh, creating controls like sliders that you're going to physically interact with so for these I'm just keeping it so I know it's a point helper and just so I know that it's um, attached to the jawbone or the jawbone's attached to it let's unhide that again and then I'm going to go into the first I'm going to turn turbo smooth off uh, going to the skin modifier here we've got the bones that we've had already had it in there and then I'm going to click on add and from this if we just look at bone and bone jaw I didn't name the nub bone there as well um, so I'm just going to select these and then this will be the nub bone I'm just going to remove that so we've got bone jaw there if I was to click on to edit envelope now See the bone jaw at the minute has very little influence over anything at all. So just before I start actually messing about with the vertices, uh, what I'm going to do is go in there and just put a quick animation on this jaw bone, just so we can easily see the effect of the jaw bone on the skin. So I'm just going to come out of this for a second. Uh, I just set this into wireframe mode, so I can click on this bone going to rotate auto key N and we've actually got a rotation on the head right now let's just delete that I'm just going to click on the head and let's just click all these frames for a second so um, come back on the jaw bone I'm going to go frame 10 I'm just going to open this up And then close it back down. Just shift dragging that key. So let's go back into skin now. Edit envelopes. And uh, actually, what I'll do is I'll finish this tutorial here, and I'll carry on with this in the next tutorial.